So you are the one who hacked my computer? Yes, damn right. You did something with my computer? That's what you get for scamming people, man. Deleting my hard drive, you cocksucker. Why do you scam with your personal computer then, you idiot? You are a asshole. Why do you have you videos to head. make bombs on your computer? Why did you touch my hard drive, mother? Cause you rip off old ladies! We going to bomb USA. You know you're on a recorded line, right? We are not scammers. Then why did I record you scamming people? We got access into a scammer's computer and obtained all of his files. We quickly realized that this scammer isn't your average scammer. He has very disturbing stuff on his computer. Today we're gonna show you guys everything. Recently, KDA Scambage reached out to me about a scammer who pretends to be Facebook that keeps trying to call her. Today we're gonna team up and try to hack him. Hello? This is Mark. Hello? Yeah, this hello? is Mark, Sarah. Yeah, this oh, is hello. Mark. Yeah, can you hear me? Hello. This is... Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, this... Did you reach home? Yeah, I'm at home now. I'm sitting in front of my computer. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. You take your time. Uh, once your computer is on, you just let me know. It should be. I'm just signing in right now. Is that a Windows computer or a Mac computer, Sarah? No, it's a Windows. All right. Yes. Okay. And thank you so much for calling me back. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Can you see all the icons on the screen right now? All yes, I icons? can. All right. Do you have a Google Chrome browser, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge? Right away, the scammer wanted us to download software to take over our computer. As they always do. Yeah. Okay. This any desk is a backup support which doesn't allow any malicious files, any uh, infections or viruses, right, to download in your computer. It protects your system altogether from all unknown sources. Well, he's about to find out that that's not true. So you will see two red boxes over there. Download now. You click on that. Download now. Okay. I clicked on it. Download. Once you give a click on download now, you will see in the top right hand corner a file is downloading anydesk.exe. Once it finishes, you need to open file. Open file, Double okay. Click on the file. Now we are going to let the scammer into our computer. First, let's go to today's sponsor. Did you know your personal information is being sold online without your consent? Data brokers are collecting your name, address, phone number, and even your financial details, putting you at risk for spam, scams, and identity theft. Every day your data is traded like currency, and removing it manually? Nearly impossible. But there's a solution. Incogni. Incogni works tirelessly to remove your personal info from data brokers and people search sites, automatically. Here's how it works. Sign up and tell Incogni whose data to protect. They handle the removal requests for you. Relax while Incogni keeps your data private, for good. Stop data brokers today. Use code DVR for 60% off at the website in the description below. Protect yourself and your family before it's too late. Incogni, your data under control. Try it risk free for 30 days. And if you don't like it, you can get your money back for 30 days. Right, can you see a yes, 9 digit no. or a 10 digit number? Your address, is that what you need? You're right, right, a 10 digit number, right? You need to confirm me that. A few moments later. The scammer now has access into our computer. Right. At the very extreme right hand top corner, you will see a cross, black cross, right? A red cross. Just below that, you will see four dashes, like a hamburger menu. Extreme right hand top corner beside the mm. arrow. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, I can see it. Click on that four, four dashes in the extreme oh, right hand top side. And we got access into the scammer's computer. Beside the mm. arrow. Can you see that? Uh... Immediately we started to download all of his files. Okay. And what basically you do on this computer, you, you play games, you check emails, uh, what do you do? I check emails, uh, I do everything uh, that a normal on a normal computer, like check emails. I don't do a lot of gaming. Uh, I'm not really into gaming, but I do shopping, uh, check my bank account, um, just normal everyday computer stuff. I do research for, okay. I have um, papers that I need to uh, sign. On the scammer's e-drive, there were gigabytes worth of files. 
we started to download them all. And like, do you have a, a printer or a scanner, stuff like that? Um, I do, but sometimes uh, my printer doesn't work most of the time. Uh, I had to get it fixed a couple of weeks ago. I haven't used it since, but yeah, I do have a printer connected to it right now. I don't, like I said, I had to have it uh, fixed a couple of weeks ago. I called printer support to get it fixed. Cost okay. me, because right cost now, me a pretty penny. What can you see? Right. Uh, what can I'm you just, see on the screen right now at the moment? Um, a black screen? Yeah, just a black screen. Yeah, because right now it has gone under verification because from the Geek Squad server, you're about to get a live uh, subscription cancellation form, which you will have to fill up by yourself so that the subscription gets canceled. And then we go ahead and process the refund, which has been charged. OK, so okay. once you will see the screen has come up. You let me know till then do not do anything. OK. While we continue to transfer the files from the scammer's computer, KDA filled in the fake refund form. All right, I see a uh, live cancellation form. Right, you need to start filling it in. It starts with your first name, okay? Okay. And make sure when you come down to the cell phone number or the landline number, do not mm -hmm. uh, fill up the cell phone or the landline. Leave it empty. Only name and skip the cell phone and the landline, okay? As KDA filled out the fake form on her screen, we could see the scammer's real intentions on his end. He was actively searching for her address and running a reverse lookup on her phone number. This is exactly why you should never call scammers from your personal phone. They use reverse phone tools to uncover your identity and location, giving them more leverage to manipulate or threaten you. So it's 499.99, right? That's 499. my refund? 0.00. .00. Okay. okay. Okay, I filled it all out. Do I hit it submit? All right. Yes, you need to hit submit. Okay. At this point, the scammer wanted KDA to go to a Bitcoin ATM to get Bitcoin. On the scammer's computer, we could see he was looking up the location of one near her address. We decided to play along and pretend to drive to a store and string him along. At this point, we already obtained all the files. We baited him for a good hour, after which we pretended to crash the car. Oh, oh my god, I just got in a crash. Oh my like god. With someone? Then we left him hanging without money. If you guys want to see this, let me know in the comments and we will make it a separate video. Because this scammer had an external hard drive plugged in and we could access many drives, we managed to permanently delete well over 10 million files. Now it's time to go over the files obtained. When we accessed the scammer's computer, we expected to find the usual things. Stolen information, fake documents or victim lists. And we did find those. A long list of victims, including phone numbers, which we contacted and helped save from falling into this trap. But we also found something way more alarming. Buried among the files were materials linked to extremist groups like ISIS, Hezbollah and several others. This wasn't just a scammer stealing money. This is someone potentially connected to global terrorism. Now you might think, well maybe he's just studying these topics. And that was my first thought. But when going through more of the scammer's interests and files, it becomes even more disturbing. The scammer had a lot of ebooks and interest in manufacturing explosives. He even had videos about this stuff. We decided not to dig deeper and just report it all to the authorities. A day later, I managed to get him on the phone and confront him. Hello, this is Mark. This yes, hello, hello this Mark. Mark. Can I ask you why you have all that terrorist stuff on your computer? So you are the one who hacked my computer? Yes, damn right. You did something with my computer? That's what you get for scamming people, man. Deleting my hard drive, you cocksucker. Why do you scam with your personal computer then, you idiot? You are a asshole. Why do you have you videos to make bombs on your computer? Why did you touch my hard drive, motherfucker? Because you rip off old ladies. We going to bomb USA. I'm gonna get you on the FBI watch list, we are you going sick to bomb your countries. You know you're on a recorded line, right? We are not scammers. Then why did I record you scamming people? You hmm? people are the real terrorists. Why you bomb Middle East? I thought a lot about the implications of this all. And it brings me to the following realization. 
Many reports reveal that a significant portion of terrorism funding comes from scams. This means that our work may not only protect people from being scammed, but could also disrupt the financial lifelines that support terrorism. By taking down these scams every day, we might even be preventing attacks and saving innocent lives, although this cannot be definitely proven. Scambait has put in extraordinary efforts, and their dedication has saved countless people from falling into the traps of scammers. Our work has far-reaching impacts that go beyond just protecting individuals. It could be contributing to global safety. Thanks for watching. If you like what we do, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Your comments below are always appreciated also. Be sure to follow me on my socials. If you want to report a scam, scan the QR code below. Here's a couple more great videos for you to watch. Until next time.